Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy and this is the number 44 short format review. So Skull, Wintergreen Bandits. What is it? Taking a look at the can, everything is pretty much straightforward. Do note that the pouches, there are 20. Only thing that stands out is really different besides the bandit is the half circle being in a different color, in this case red. Raised boxed rim of U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company and the outline of the letters of skull is raised. Barcode and manufacturer's information, which I will get back to. Branding, the fact that it's bandits in winter green. Scrunched U.S. Smokeless Tobacco, warning label, with general information. This is smokeless tobacco. Underage sale prohibited. Sale is only allowed in the United States, etc. It is also 100%, as is all U.S. smokeless tobacco company products, 100% American tobacco. And then small branding, pouches, and flavor, winter green. The Manufacturer's information is that this is a product, as I've already said, of U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company, headquartered out of Nashville, Tennessee, the makers of Skull, of Red Seal, and Copenhagen. All right. This is 20 pouches denoted, and it is tax class M. But they do not note the weight of the product. So if that tells you anything... On the back, you have the guaranteed fresh stamp U.S. smokeless can and a sell-by date on this of March 15th, 2020. So I'm going to cut into this. All right, so this is one of two surviving members of the Bandits line. All right, the other one is Mint. It was done last month. Okay, so that review is already out there. Um, these are, I don't find anything wrong with these the, the Bandit products, it's just they've sort of run their course, and I, the, I don't see much of a point in them anymore. And we're open. Pretty strong winter green coming off that. What you have is white pouches that are naturally stained. All right. These are smaller pouches. So without plumping it or anything this is your bandit pouch all right this is a pouch from american snuff company oh, well let me do it that way i'm going to throw one in normally i would do more than one of these but i will throw one in for the sake of having one uh, the way it's probably meant to have. And I will be back in a moment with thoughts. And I'm back. Okay, so I haven't even spit yet with this. I was only gone maybe about two minutes tops, but I don't even have the need to. I haven't spit yet and I don't need to spit now. Um, when these came out, they made a lot of sense from a marketing standpoint and from a user standpoint. But with the arrival of snus in force in North America, their day of making a lot of sense has sort of come and gone. And I've touched on this before. So what you have is a smaller pouch, all right, with a winter green that is leaning towards the Skull Classic winter green. I think, or you will think, because you can't really quite tell in the first five minutes. There is a slight mouthfeel, okay? If you double them up, you could quadruple them up and still get five dips out of a can. So, you know, but now you're shoving four pouches in your mouth. It's just, when these came out, okay, they were marketed in metropolitan areas to smokers for situations where they couldn't smoke and in rural areas to dippers that were in situations 
that they needed to have a discrete profile of the face and little or no spitting. Both cases made a lot of sense in 1985, let's say, okay? But with non-spit pouch products now, snooze, why not just go the extra, you know, foot and get something that you definitely don't have to spit at all? And a lot of the actual real snooze products are as small as this and probably have more nicotine. So that's just my thoughts on it. The, there's nothing wrong with the product and it is sort of a big part of the snuff, moist snuff history experience in the United States. So in that way, it is sort of cool. It's just from a marketing user standpoint, it, it just, it, it doesn't make as much sense as it used to. It, you know, it, it just doesn't. I, I wish I could say differently, but the fact of the matter is, from even from a market, and that's why there's only this and mint, and nobody, a lot of people don't see them at all, because they're probably only continue making this for nostalgia purposes, which, in a way, from a marketing standpoint, that does make a little bit of sense, but not a full-blown campaign where this is in every store across America. So, and I just swallowed. <laughs> wow. And there has been no ill effect. There's no throat burn. There's nothing. So, you know, if you see them, it would be cool to get a can because I have a feeling that this product's time on the market it's not long for this world. But outside of that, outside of having the can and saying that you once did did bandits, I, I don't really see much of a point, a case for it. Um, there seems to be nicotine. There is a slight mouthfeel. I haven't spit yet, although I did swallow once, but I my throat didn't burn, nothing. You know, I'm not feeling nauseous. It's just... It, it, it's cool from... A history standpoint and to say that you did oh I did them before they took them off the market but besides that you know the winter green is okay it's not real sweet like a Copenhagen it's more like the skull classic winter green there is nicotine there I don't feel like doing anything else right now so I guess it's there um, the flavor is very there's not much of it all right and the can looks nice cuts not an issue because it's in a pouch this has been the short format review of Skull Wintergreen Bandits, the classic product from U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company. I am the dip suit and tie dip and shoe guy. This review has been thanks to donations. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.